Now let's try writing the equation of a hyperbola given some information about that hyperbola. We're told that the focus is at the point 5, 0 and negative 5, 0, and we have the two asymptotes y is equal to positive or negative 4 thirds x. Now again, whenever you deal with conic sections, it's usually easier to sketch a graph of what's going on first. Our foci are the points 5, 0 and negative 5, 0. So say they're here and here. Our asymptotes are the lines y is equal to plus or minus 4 thirds x. So they're going to look something like this. Now since our foci are on the x-axis, that's going to make the x-axis our transverse axis. And that also means that our hyperbola is going to open in the positive and negative x directions. So it should look something like this. Since my hyperbola opens in the positive and negative x directions, that means it's going to be the y squared term that's being subtracted. So our standard form is going to look like x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared, and that's equal to 1. Now to finish writing this equation, we need to find our values for a and b. We know that our asymptotes always have the equation y is equal to plus or minus b over a times x. That means that b over a is equal to 4 thirds. That does not mean that b is equal to 4 and a is equal to 3, but it does mean that if we cross multiply these ratios, 3b is equal to 4a. Now we know that our foci are a c distance away from the center of our hyperbola. If our center is at 0, 0 and our foci is at positive 5 and negative 5 on the x-axis, that means c is equal to 5. And we always find c using the equation c squared is equal to b squared plus a squared, or a squared plus b squared. If I plug in c is equal to 5, I'll have 5 squared is equal to b squared plus a squared, or a squared plus b squared is equal to 25. Now if I go back to this equation and I divide both sides by 4, I'll find out that a is equal to 3 fourths b. And if I plug that in for a here, we'll have 3 fourths b squared plus b squared is equal to 25. That means that 9 sixteenths b squared plus b squared is equal to 25. If we add our like terms, that means 25 sixteenths b squared is equal to 25. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 16 25ths, and we'll get b squared is equal to 16. Take the square root of both sides, and we'll get b is equal to 4. Then if we go back to this equation and we plug in b is equal to 4, we'll find out that a is indeed equal to 3. If we plug this information back into our standard form equation, we'll find out that x squared over 3 squared minus y squared over 4 squared is equal to 1. Simplify and you'll have x squared over 9 minus y squared over 16 is equal to 1. And that would be the equation of this hyperbola. The last thing we have to do in this tutorial is graph a hyperbola. Here we're going to graph the equation y squared over 25 minus x squared over 144 is equal to 1. Notice that x squared is being subtracted, which means that this hyperbola is going to open in the positive and negative y direction. That means we can write our standard form as y squared over b squared minus x squared over a squared is equal to 1. That also means that our b squared is 25 and our a squared 
it is 144. If you solve those two equations for a and b, you're going to find out that b is equal to 5 and a is equal to 12. That means that this hyperbola has the asymptotes y is equal to plus or minus 5 twelfths x. And I can draw those two lines. Our asymptotes would look something like that. Now since our hyperbola opens in the positive and negative y direction, that means that our transverse axis is the y-axis. So our foci and our vertices will be on that axis. Our vertices are a distance of b units away, so 5 units away. So we'd have a vertice there and a vertice here. Our foci is a distance of c units away, but we haven't found c yet c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. If we plug in for a and b, we'll get c squared is equal to 12 squared plus 5 squared. 12 squared is 144, 5 squared is 25, so we'll get c squared is equal to 169. Take the square root of both sides and you'll get c is plus or minus 13, but since c is a distance, it's just positive 13. So if we go 13 units away from our center along our transverse axis, we'll find our foci. It would be here and here. And now we can sketch our graph. It would look something like this. And the graph of yx squared over 25 minus x squared over 144 is equal to 1 would look something like that. So that completes the tutorial on hyperbolas as conic sections.